Okay, we're looking at a volume of revolution question here. Uh, want the volume of revolution created when the graph of y equals log 2x minus 3 is rotated through 2 pi radians about the x-axis between x equals 2 and x equals 5. But the point is, is that I'm going to integrate this squared times pi and find the, the volume created between that and that. But you could apply this, how to use your graphic calculator, to any integration question where you're trying to find an area where maybe the integration is a little bit beyond the course. So just to show you what I mean, I'm basically doing pi. I want to integrate 5, 2, and log 2x minus 3. And I want to square all of that. So that's actually what I'm trying to work out. To integrate all of this, a bit difficult. So I'm going to do this in two ways. I am going to first of all show you how to do it from the run menu. So in the menu, going into the run menu. And I'm going to go to my option and calculus, because it's obviously a calculus question. And I'm going to use this one here, F4, to integrate. Now, well, it's not again, it's not going to integrate this function, it's just going to give me the value. So let's type that in. Brackets log brackets 2x oops 2x minus 3 close the bracket square it all I haven't actually got the pi in there yet I'll do that at the end and if I just click on you want, we want to know the lower value 2 the upper value 5 so I've just typed that in 3.74 and at the end I'm going to times it by pi so you get 11.8 if we're doing three significant figures. Let's just jot that answer down. 11.8. Now that's one way of doing it. The second way of doing it is you could do it directly from the graph menu. So if we go into our graph menu, I've already graphed it, but I've put the pie in front this time because it makes it easier. And if I graph it, and I want the value, the area from there to there. So using the G solve, I'm going to go along and find that one. Yeah, I want this, the area. It's don't worry about this, just type in your lower value. Don't even put in anything, just put in two and it just accepts that as your lower value, and then put in five upper value, and it gives me eleven point seven five straight away, the same value I had before. So there's two different ways you can do it. You might already have the graph open, it's easy to do it like that, or you might want to do it from the run menu. Both ways, same answer, calculation, done the same.